Good afternoon, everybody from the Orange County Convention Center. I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here with Marissa Sarbach for AKC TV. We are going to bring you the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes this afternoon. Brought to you in part by Sprint, a brighter future for all. And that is exactly what you are looking at in the ring right now. These dogs have just gotten in just about 20 seconds ago. So we're really just getting started. It looks like our judge is ready to take a look at that first dog. We are starting with the working group this afternoon, which is going to be judged by Mr. Jay Richardson. Yes. Jay Richardson is from Elgin, Illinois. So let's have a little background here on the AKC Royal Canaan National Albury Puppy and Junior Stakes that we're going to watch. These are our young up and coming puppy and junior dogs that are competing in this special event. It's our second annual. So every dog that you're going to see today is between six months and 18 months old. They all competed earlier in their individual breeds. We're going to have group judging live for you here this afternoon, which is what we're watching now. We're going to end up with a best in stakes winner later. So Bill, talk to us a little bit about the difference between this versus what we saw yesterday, the day before. What's different? Sure. So the last three days we saw regular all breed dog shows, the three shows that make up the Orlando cluster. We saw the groups and best in shows. So we'll see a similar format here today. There'll be a few differences. The first notable difference is that we're going to have a couple groups going on at the same time. So we are going to be switching back and forth depending on where the action is. We're going to take a few breaks give you as much coverage as we can, but we want to keep the action going. And then we're going to end up with a best in stakes winner this afternoon. And that's going to be really unique because it's actually going to be judged by three judges. We're used to just seeing one judge. But now the judge is going to get a nice look. This will run the same exact way as the last couple days where the judge will get a feel of that dog before it takes the lap around the ring, right? Yep, exactly. And these dogs, many of them, won't be as seasoned as some of the other dogs that we saw the last few days because they're a little younger. A real celebration of the up-and-coming show dogs, a chance for these breeders, owners, and handlers to show off their youngsters. And what's the age that we will see these dogs competing at? So we're going to see dogs that range from 6 to 18 months. We call it puppy and junior stakes because we consider six months up to a year old to be puppies and then the 12 months to 18 month range to we consider to be junior dogs. You're watching our judge Jay Richardson go over the Kuvas right now. And for those of you just tuning in, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. Live in Orlando, Florida, Bill and I have been here all week and we will be here throughout the weekend too. You are watching the first group of the afternoon, the working group in the Puppy and Junior Stakes. So there'll definitely be some notable differences as we watch these dogs. You can definitely tell some of them are younger. This guy's really playful. Happy to be here. Usually they're just not as polished as our older mature dogs in the ring. That'll be the case. They just haven't had as much experience in the show ring, but that's all right. They're all out there learning. Some of these dogs will be on the older range of that six to 18 months and probably have been to more dog shows. We'll probably see some puppies that are a little closer to six months old. It's really just a great experience for them before they get to that next level. It's a great experience. It's a really fun, unique event. Right now, our judge is having a look at the boxer. Check out that movement. These were really successful cattle dogs, butcher's dogs. They had a nickname, the middleweight athlete of dogdom. So much activity happening around the building here today in Orlando. There's all sorts of special events. So <laughs> we're bringing you the Puppy and Junior Stakes, the National Owner Handled Series Finals, also judged today, those breeds and those groups. 
They're being filmed and they're going to be available on demand on akc.tv. So you'll be able to tune in and watch those a little bit later when they're available on demand. Several specialties and, and group shows, which are unique. Specialty shows are, are just for one breed. We had a couple group shows herding and working around the building today. We're limited to just those herding and working breeds. And if you head on over to our AKC.TV website, you're not only going to see what's here in Orlando, but you'll also see everything else that our team works on. So that's Good Dog TV, some Meet the Breeds documentaries, Good Dog Destinations. We love that one. That shows you great cities to travel to with your dog and what you can do when you get there. So much here in the building has been set up over the last few days, too. All the Meet the Breeds booths are getting ready to go. Everyone's getting their booths decorated. <laughs> Agility got started today with the Agility Juniors. And we should mention, too, that the National Owner Handled Series Finals that I talked about being available on demand. We will be bringing you Best in Show for the National Owner Handled Series Finals live tomorrow. At 445. It's going to kick off our coverage of the evening coverage of the AKC National Championship presented by Royal Canaan. That's going to start at 445 p.m. tomorrow and Sunday. So we'll have the National Owner Handled Series Finals that starts tomorrow and, and four groups will be judged tomorrow as well as some different award presentations. Sunday we'll bring you three groups and best in show end up with one national champion. And it's so exciting, Bill, to see how many people have come and brought their dogs from not only our country, but so many international dogs as well. So exciting to see. We've seen people from the Philippines. We've seen them from Brazil. We have seen them really from everywhere, Canada, and of course, all across the United States, which is so exciting to see everybody come together for such a big event. Dogs from all over the place. Our judge, Jay Richardson, is going over the Akita right now. Akitas are native to Japan, where they were developed as a guardian and hunting dog. And if you are watching live on social media, thank you so much for joining us. We are also on akc.tv. And if you're on social media, we would love to see your dog pictures. We really just can't get enough of them. <laughs> We've been checking them all week. Use that hashtag, this is AKC, for the AKC TV team to be able to see that, as well as the team from the American Kennel Club. Everybody is checking that hashtag. You can even go on Instagram and follow that hashtag in particular. So if anybody posts a picture of their dog, you can see it too. Marissa, I saw that you reposted one earlier. It was I did. pretty cute. It was adorable. Those dogs were sitting at their table with breakfast plates in front of them, and they said they were very much looking forward to watching AKC TV earlier. And here you go. Now we're live. This is what they've been waiting for, I think. So these dogs are judged the same way as in any other dog show. Our judges are going to judge them against their written standards, which describe the ideal specimen for each breed. So he's not comparing one dog to another. He's really comparing each dog against their standard. Find which one he believes best fits that breed's standard. So, Bill, are we seeing any change in the written standard? When we're, we're talking about puppies versus mature adult dogs, is there a change in that standard at all? There's not a change in the standard same one that he'll look at for adults versus puppies but of course these judges know that these dogs are a little younger and they're going to continue to mature maybe they just don't have the muscle tone yet that their adult sure, dogs would have continue to change as they get older but some beautiful puppies that we're seeing they already are.
It's a great chance here for the judge to take a look at each dog as they take a lap around the ring. We kicked off our day today with a fun show at 12 o'clock. AKC TV live from the national championship. We got started a little after 12 today. Had some fun interviews, got to look at some different rings. We had a lot of great interviews. We had so many different people on our set. And what's really cool is that our TV set is right in the middle of all that action. So we're seeing everybody as they pass by heading to one of the rings or heading back to the vendors. So much going on here in Orlando. So you can see the Anatolian Shepherd on your screen right now. Breed originally from Turkey. Used to, like many of these working dogs to protect livestock, be guardians. And they really are great for that because they have such territorial and protective instincts. Great watchdogs. You can really see with these younger working dogs they're gonna grow up to be pretty big. <laughs> Bill, will we see a lot of the same handlers or is it a different type of job to do a puppy stakes versus a regular? We'll probably see some familiar faces um, and, and some new handlers. Is this a chance for new handlers to maybe get uh, a start by doing the puppy stakes or is this should you really be experienced if you're doing the puppy stakes? No, we'll see a mix of both. We'll see some experienced handlers. We'll see some people who might be new to the sport. And some of these puppies are a little inexperienced. This is the Samoyed right now. Probably her first time in a big ring like this, <laughs> but she's having a really good time now. And they do really look excited to be there, which they is do. so cute. It's a big experience. Big ring on the carpet, under the lights, some cameras. And you know. honestly, such a big crowd for them to do this in front of. It's a lot to take in. It is, but they're doing really well. If you're just toning in, I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here with Marissa Sarbeck for AKC TV. We're watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes, a special competition for young dogs between six and 18 months of age. This is our first group of the afternoon, the working group. We'll see all seven groups judged this afternoon and best in stakes. The groups are judged simultaneously between two rings, so we'll do a little bouncing back and forth when the other ring gets started. This youngster that we're watching right now is the Portuguese water dog. Very energetic, athletic breed bred to help the Portuguese fishermen bring in their nets. And now we're looking at the Commodore. This is a really fun example of different look between puppies and adults. The common door that we saw the last few nights during our live stream of the groups in Best in Show, it cords this common door, youngster. They're really fluffy when they're puppies. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're working on developing those cords, but that takes time. So not judged any differently, same standard. And our these dogs are actually considered a rare breed too. There's about 1,000, maybe 1,500 of them registered in our country every year.
Now you can see the Bernese Mountain Dog Puppy Junior being judged. And there is still so much action happening in this building right now. Rings being judged all over. Lots of specialties still going on in those group shows that I mentioned. Some dogs will be judged a few times today. There were some breeds that had specialties and group shows. Probably some, some of those same dogs entered here in the Puppy Junior Stakes. So opportunities for some breeds to really get in the ring a few times. And this is really their first opportunity to do this so far in Orlando. Yes. The first three days were traditional all-breed dog shows, huge entries. We have over 4,000 dogs just yesterday. We did. Tomorrow we'll get started with the AKC National Championship. The buildup for this week really has just been incredible. We've seen the crowd grow in size. Of course, the number of entries, the number of dogs here grow. And the excitement is building for us over at AKC TV because like we said, we have our set right in the middle of all the action. So we've been seeing a lot of people stop by, want to say hi, of course say hi if you see us. Our judges having a look at the new Tibetan Mastiff right now. And get his hands on the dog and feel underneath all that coat. Important for these judges to do that so they can really feel how these dogs are built and then get a chance to watch them move. In this case, watch him go down and back so that he can see the dog move away and come back toward him and then he'll get a look at the dog moving around the ring from the side. This dog originates way back, way back in time, for all the way from the Himalayan mountains. We were a protector and flock guardian. They're actually considered a source from which most of our modern working breeds come from. This young guy is the Great Pyrenees. These working breeds are fun because some of these younger ones, you can really see that they're puppies and the difference between know. them and the more mature dogs that we saw the last three days. But it really goes to show how impressive these dogs are when they do mature to get into the regular breed shows and how much work it takes to get there. These Breeders, owners, handlers are dedicated. And the groomers, of course. And the groomers. <laughs> if you missed any of our coverage from the last three days or you want to go back and rewatch any of it, it's available on demand on AKC TV. Visit our website, which is akc.tv. You can also enjoy it on the big screen by downloading the AKC TV app on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. These puppies are handling this big ring under the lights wonderfully. We had over 1,200 puppy and junior dogs start the day. Really impressive when you consider that they're all between the ages of six and 18 months. We're getting 
close to the end of the working group here. You're watching the AKC Royal Canin National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. A special competition limited to puppies and juniors between ages 6 and 18 months. Right now you're getting a look at our judge. Take a look at the Rottweiler. And it's time for another lap right around the ring. Really give the judge a chance to see full movement from every angle. The working group is the first group of the afternoon. We'll see all seven groups this afternoon and then we'll see best in stakes. The group judging will happen in two rings at the same time. So we'll bounce back and forth a little bit. We'll try to bring you as much as we can. If we miss any of your favorites when we're moving back and forth between the two rings, every dog will be available on demand on AKC TV. You can see it there on your screen. You can find AKC TV on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, and by visiting our website, which is akc.tv. We have so much great content on there which we mean the breeds documentary, so you can learn all about your favorite breed. Maybe you might even find a new one that you love. You can see our show, Good Dog TV. We have done that live here from Orlando. We did a special edition where you ask the expert with an AKC judge. That was Mr. Dana Klein. We saw him judging one of the breeds yesterday, one of the groups. And then we also saw him on Good Dog TV answering those questions. That's available on social media, all of our accounts, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as on AKC.TV. Our judge, Jay Richardson, has a beautiful working group of puppies and junior dogs to choose from. He will place them first through fourth, like we saw the last few days here in Orlando. The winner will get to go on to compete in best in stakes. Walking down the line, having another look at the youngsters here in the working group. So now he's had a chance to feel all the dogs, see all the dogs up close, get a sense of them going around the ring. He's pulled out the Alaskan Malamute and the Boxer. It looks like he's going to make a short list here and have another look at these dogs. The Black Russian Terrier comes out, the Leonberger, the Giant Schnauzer, the Siberian Husky, the Doberman Pitch Pincher, Samoyed, Portuguese Water Dog, St. Bernard, Great Pyrenees, Rottweiler, and the Standard Schnauzer. Thanks. Kept a lot of these beautiful youngsters out there. Competitive group. Lots of great dogs to choose from. Probably for it being their first time in a ring, these dogs are so well behaved. They're doing really oh, great. Oh, they're doing a great job. There goes the boxer. We saw the Alaskan Malamute go around. And here comes the Black Russian Terrier.
in the Leonberger. There goes the giant schnauzer. And the Siberian Husky. <coughs> the Doberman Pincher. Samoyed. The Portuguese water dog. There's the St. Bernard. The Great Pyrenees. The Rottweiler. And our final dog in the working group is the standard Schnauzer. Another look down the line for our, our judge, Jay Richardson, in the working group. Our first group of the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. Still a pretty big group, even though this is a short list. All right, who's it going to be? Looks like the Siberian Husky was chosen as the winner. The Boxer was second. The Black Russian Terrier was third. And the Giant Schnauzer was fourth. Oh, what a great shot of the <laughs> Siberian Husky. We're going to take a break. And we will be right back to continue our coverage of the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. This is a Labrador Retriever. This is a Golden Retriever. They may seem similar, but when you take a closer look, the details tell a different story. These dogs eat, digest, and process energy differently. At Royal Canin, we obsess over these details. So we developed over 200 specific formulas for cats and dogs, because precise nutrition can transform your pet into a magnificent animal. Royal Canin, incredible in every detail. Is your pet trying to tell you something? The Pet Comfort Feeding System by WeatherTech. 100% non-toxic and lead-free. Made from U.S. stainless steel and certified by the NSF. Designed to trap spills and messes. Trust the way you feed your pet. Choose the perfect size and color at PetComfort.com. Home is where family comes together. Home is where you go to relax. Home is where you feel secure. With the AKC line of premium pet products, you can rest assured that your pet feels safe and secure in their home too. AKC, because every home deserves a good dog and every dog deserves a good home. AKC Secure Pet Living Products, available at The Home Depot. Thank you so much for joining us again. 
you are just stopping in. We have just seen the working group. We are in the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. So these are the puppies that are between 6 and 18 months, so a little bit younger than some of the other dogs that we've seen the past couple of days here. I'm Marissa Sarbach, joined here with Bill Ellis. We are from AKC TV. We are waiting on our second group to come in the ring right now, and this is going to be the toy group. The toy group is going to be judged by Mr. Terry Stacy. Terry Stacy's from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. If you are watching us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, thank you for joining us. We are happy to have you with us, but we also want to make sure you check out akc.tv. Our website has so much great content. Anything that you want to see here from Orlando, we are posting from right here in Orlando, right there on our website. So we have all the events here as well as meet the breed documentaries. So you can get to know all of the breeds. We have our show, Good Dog TV. We were lucky enough to have that live here in Orlando from our set, AKC TV. We are right in the middle of the action. Now, just to remind you, the group judging for the Puppy and Junior Stakes does happen in two rings at the same time. Second ring hasn't started yet, but it will soon, and we'll be going back and forth between the two groups, bringing you as much action as we can. But if we miss any of your favorites, all the groups will be available in their entirety on demand on akc.tv, which is our website. You can also enjoy them on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Search AKC in the App Store on those devices. We have a big group of young toy dogs that our judge Terry Stacy is getting a good first look at. Marissa, I feel like in the working group, we, we hit several that we could really tell were puppies. Yeah. Uh, big size differences. You're and right. you know what? Toy Here dogs toy are still can't. just small. <laughs> <laughs> it is very true. It's hard to tell. And of course, the way the judge gets a look at these different dogs is going to be a little bit different than we saw in the working group. So now we have brought the table in. Each handler is going to have their toy dog right here on the table. So the judge can get a nice close look. And then he'll walk over in just a second and feel the dog. Take a look in its mouth. We go. So the pug is on the table right now. Popular little toy dog. These guys make great family pets, companions. Have to be ready for a little snoring, I think. <laughs> but they're so cute, you forgive it. Of course. <laughs> They really are very popular. Now, these dogs originated in China. They're actually bred in the Imperial Kennels. They do bear some similarities to the Pekingese. Now our judge is going to get a nice look at the pug's movement. The AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes is an event limited to young dogs, just six to 18 months old. So all these dogs competed in their individual breeds earlier today, and they were chosen as best of breed in the Puppy and Junior Stakes to move on to the group judging, which we're bringing you live right now. And then at the end, we'll have best in stakes, which will be really fun. It's gonna be judged by three judges. So a little bit different format later on.
This is the Havanese on the table right now, a mm. breed that continues to get more and more popular. And why is it that we see the judge pick up the Havanese, Bill? Just gives him a really um, up close look and feel of the dog when he does that, especially for size. Havanese are the national dog of Cuba, where they are originally from. And they still have a couple of different names. Havana Silk Dog, Spanish Silk Poodle, Bichon Havanese. Toy dogs were bred to be companions, and a lot of them resemble some of their larger cousins, like the Italian Greyhound here. This is our second group of the afternoon. We just finished the working group a few minutes before this, which was won by the Siberian Husky. If you are just joining us, I'm Marissa Sarbak here with Bill Ellis. We are from AKC TV. You are watching the Puppy and Junior Stakes. These are our six to 18 month olds. Right now, this is the Italian Greyhound. Now, historians actually debate whether they were originally bred as a companion or a hunting dog. They became very popular overall. Very prized pets of nobility. Just to let you know, the other ring that will be judged this afternoon will have the Puppy and Junior Stakes groups there as well. Three groups will be judged in another ring, so we'll check in there when that action gets started. So if there's a dog that you miss and you want to see him in action, just head over to akc.tv. Both rings will be available in their entirety on demand. So once we're done this afternoon, we'll get all that posted so that you can go back and watch your favorites. But for this live stream, we're going to bounce back and forth a little bit. Right now we're seeing the judge take a look at the papillon. And that means butterfly in French. And of course, that butterfly name really comes from those ears that you see. And I guess, Bill, we'll see that more in the adult dogs with the puppies. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting butterfly here. I know. Nicely done. Does that, what ha is that, does that really grow the hair on their ears? Does it grow as they get older? Sure. So as this youngster matures, they'll get longer hair on their ears so that butterfly look will be even more exaggerated. But I think we can get a pretty good look right now. Now we see the toy poodle, the smallest of the three poodle varieties. They're all the same breed. They're just different varieties based on their size. We see the toy poodle here in the toy group. The other two poodles are in the non-sporting group. They're the miniature poodle and the standard poodle. And all the varieties really considered one of the most intelligent breeds. Super easy to train and they learn very quickly. And they do very well in the retrieving and swimming areas. AKC TV went to the Poodle Club of America National Specialty earlier this year and we actually filmed their spaniel hunt tests. So a very different look at this athletic breed. We have some great footage of them working out in the field, hunting, so athletic.
this youngster is the Shih Tzu on the table right now. Such a popular breed for a long time, even still today. They really were favorites, even starting as back as the royal family back in the Ming Dynasty. Now we get a look at the Brussels Griffon on the table. Now for them as well, will we see that coat really develop as they age? Well, Brussels Griffon come in two different coat types. So this is actually a smooth Brussels Griffon. In the, in the toy group, the um, last couple of nights, we've seen um, the other coat variety, which is the rough coat. So this, this little guy is going to stay um, with this smooth coat. I think the toys are great for helping the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see a lot of a lot of toys, a lot of squeakies in the ring tonight. Very motivating. <laughs> now the ring next door to us here is also going to have some group judging of the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stake. So when that gets started, we're going to have a look over there. Remember if. You're not able to see any of your favorites during this live stream. Everything is being taped, and it will be available on demand on akc.tv just as soon as we finish up and we can get it posted for you. Yeah, we've been seeing questions about that a lot on social media. People nervous about missing something or not being able to tune in exactly as something goes live. But that's the great thing is that everything's going to be available on our website. Everything's going to be available on demand. Yep. Right now you're looking at the very recognizable Chi Chinese Creston. And of course these puppies all between six and 18 months old. So now we're having a look at the herding group coming in in the ring next door to us here, the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. The herding group is judged by Mr. William Stebbins from Port St. Lucie, Florida. He's just bringing them in one at a time. A nice chance for each of these puppies to go around and he can have a look at each of them. Looks like we're seeing our judge just get a first look around here. Herding breeds were all bred to gather, herd, and protect livestock. 
but they're very, very versatile breeds. We see a lot of them trained for police and protection work, and they excel at different AKC sports, such as agility, obedience, rally, and of course, herding. But of course you are watching the puppies, so these guys probably aren't doing too much work yet, <laughs> <laughs> but one day. And if you are just tuning in, thank you so much for joining us. You're watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. I'm Marissa Sarr back here with Bill Ellis. We are from AKC TV. Very happy to have you with us. If you're just joining us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so happy to have you with us there. But we do want you to check out the website, akc.tv. That is where you will find all of this content. You can see it right there on your screen. You can download our apps, Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV. Looks like we are going to take a short break. Stay with us, though. We'll be back in just a minute. This is AKC TV. This is no ordinary puppy, and this is no ordinary story. This is the tale of a hero in the making. He is born, raised, and fed to make the impossible possible, because he is no ordinary dog. He's a Yukonuba dog. Feed the extraordinary in your puppy and make your dog a Yukonuba dog. Roxy sure is having fun. Party's over, Six Legs. She's got Simperica now. Simperica what? Simperica is what kills ticks and fleas like us. Kills? Kills! Studies show at the end of the month, it kills more ticks in less time than Frontline Plus and Next Guard. Guess we should mosey on! See you never, Roxy. Use Simperica with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. The most common side effects are vomiting, diarrhea, and lethargy. Say goodbye to ticks and fleas with monthly Simperica chewables. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. We are right now looking at the toy group. You're watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. These puppies are between six and 18 months old. So we're switching back and forth right now because we have two rings going. So right now you're looking at the toy group. We'll switch back to the herding group eventually. Don't worry, you won't miss anything. We have both, both rings being filmed and we will have all of this content on demand if you feel like you missed your favorite dog. I'm Marissa Sarbak and I'm here with Bill Ellis. We are from AKC TV. Happy to have all of you with us today. Getting so close to the weekend and all the festivities here. So much action happening today here in Orlando. We have this AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes that we're watching right now. We also saw the breeding group judging for the National Owner Handled Series Finals, which is a competition limited to owner handler, so the handler of the dog has to be their owner. Really the, a great chance for them to bond though. It's a, it's a great opportunity for uh, people who show their own dogs to have that additional competition. The top ranked dogs in the National Owner Handled Series are invited to compete here in Orlando. They competed in their breeds and groups today. And tomorrow, they will kick out off our live coverage of the evening at 4.45 p.m. with the best in show for the National Owner Handled Series Finals. The group judging, which was earlier today, will be available on demand on AKC.TV, which is our website. 
So make sure you head over to akc.tv for all that on-demand content that'll be available. You can also find us on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. You can see those right there on your screen, so you could download them. And not only will you see everything from today, yesterday, the day before. I know Bill, Bill and I have been here for a while, and we'll be here throughout the weekend, too. We have other great content that we really want you to see. Our Meet the Breeds documentaries, you can learn, learn all about the different breeds with Good Dog TV. We've even had a special episode from right here in Orlando on our AKC TV set. We had AKC judge Mr. Dana Klein join us. And then yesterday, we had the privilege of seeing him judge a group as well. We have lots of live coverage planned over the next two days, too. We'll have our show, AKC TV, live from the National Championship on tomorrow and Sunday. And live coverage of both evening groups and best in show starting at 445. Getting a good look at the young Affin Pincher on the table right now. Sometimes referred to as the monkey dog. They have that sort of monkey look. These dogs Ooh. have been around for over four centuries. They can trace that ancestry back to Germany's schnauzers and the pinchers. <laughs> and they may be little, but they are great farm dogs. Love that wagging tail. I know. We've seen a lot of that in the puppy stakes, which is so great to see the excitement here. And of course, that energy from the crowd helps. And if you did miss it, we, on our earlier show today from about 12 o'clock, 12.15, we had Dr. Jerry Klein on to talk about do's and don'ts here at dog shows, which is great for anybody who is new to the dog show world. Get some great tips from our resident vet expert. The miniature pincher is about to go down and back in the toy group for our judge, Mr. Terry Stacy. And Bill, this is just the exact same thing we'll see with any of the other groups, right? For the puppy stakes is the judge wants to get a feel, wants to get a look, wants to get an idea of that movement. Exactly. Same process. What will be fun is best in stakes later because we'll have a panel of three judges who judge that, so. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like that. Nope. It's special, unique to this competition, so that'll be fun to watch. You're watching the second group of the afternoon in the AKC Royal Canaan All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. This is the toy group. We saw the Siberian Husky win the working group. And in the ring next to us, the herding group has gotten started. So we'll check in there in a little bit. Both rings are being filmed and will be available on demand. Once we get finished up here for the afternoon, we'll make that available on AKC.TV as quick as we can. Our team works very hard to get all that on the website for you. So if we don't get to see your favorite here on the live stream, it'll all be available on our website. And we are following along on social media. We love to see your comments, by the way. If you're posting any photos of your dog on social media, make sure you use the hashtag, this is AKC. Yeah, that lets us know that you're out there, that you're listening, that you wanna be a part of this. If you post on Instagram, you can actually go ahead and follow that hashtag so that anybody who uses it and posts a picture of their dog, you'll get to see theirs too. 
great way to interact with everybody. We have seen a lot of great pictures, and a lot of those pictures involve dogs watching AKC TV, <laughs> which we love. <laughs> <coughs> The Silky Terrier is going to go down and back right now in the toy group. Really great little dogs. They have such, such a high energy level. You could even almost say energy to spare. Great with retrieving games. They love to go for walks. And they are actually a fairly new breed. Here's the Pomeranian on the table right now in the toy group. Once again, this is the AKC Royal Canin National Aubrey Puppy and Junior Stakes. So all the dogs that you're going to see are between the ages of 6 to 18 months old. So they're youngsters just getting started. I'm sure we'll see some very young ones close to 6 months old. Maybe some at their first dog show. And we'll probably see some a little closer to that 18-month mark who might have a little more experience. Well, what's really interesting too, Bill, is to see the difference in just the different types of breeds and how they mature. Like the Pomeranian here already has that full coat, whereas we saw some of the breeds like the Commodore really don't mature with those cords until later in life. Yep, every breed is a little bit different, matures a little differently. This Pomeranian's having a really good time tonight. <laughs> And how were the judges selected for a puppy stakes versus a regular all breed show? No change, just selected by the club. In this case, this is the American Kennel Club's event. Judges are chosen in the same way. The Toy Manchester Terrier is on the table right now, one of two varieties of Manchester Terrier. The Toy is the smaller variety. The standard Manchester Terrier is seen in the Terrier group. Same breed, same standard, just a different size. These are super loyal dogs and very, very quick-witted. They make very excellent watchdogs. This little guy's having a good time this afternoon, bouncing around a little bit. This is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel on the table. I feel like this breed's become very recognizable. They've become very popular. They really have been. A lot of people love them as family dogs. And that's because they have such a great temperament. Group judging is happening in two rings here in Orlando at the same time. So we're going to be doing a lot of bouncing back and forth. Try to bring you as much action as we can. If we miss any of your favorites or you want to go back and enjoy any of the coverage, you can head over to akc.tv later.
Both rings are being filmed, and you'll be able to watch all the group judging and best in stakes in its entirety. You can also find AKC TV on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Apple TV. And this little cutie is the Pekingese. Mm -hmm. This little breed has been around for such a long time. They had to do DNA studies, but it showed that this breed, the Pekingese, has existed for over 2,000 years as its very distinct breed. You can hear our judge making a little noise there to get the dog's attention so he can see their expression. Probably something that the judges have to do more in the puppy stakes. Yeah, it's really at the judge's discretion. Sometimes they'll do it in the regular group. I think some of them are probably just in the habit of doing it. <laughs> And that's our last dog in the toy group. We're going to stick around here, see who wins, and then we'll head back over to the other ring. Our judge, Terry Stacy is going to pull some dogs out to have another look at. He's got the Pug, the Havanese, and the Italian Greyhound so far. Here comes the miniature Pincher. The Pomeranian and the Manchester Terrier. Toy Manchester Terrier. He might not be done either pulling for that short He's list. He's still looking around. Yeah. We'll see if he adds anybody else. So it looks like he's just going to have those dogs That's that he it. pulled out back up a little bit so that the remaining dogs can go around. Does this mean he doesn't feel like he got a great look the first time they so, did a lap? No, I think he got a really good look. I think this is a nice opportunity so, to just have another look. So he pulled out his favorites and he might add to mm -hmm. that as he watches these dogs go around. He might just work with the ones that he pulled out, but this is a nice opportunity for these dogs to get a little more experience in the ring, get a few more minutes to go around. So yep, he added the toy poodle to the group of toy dogs that he pulled out originally. I think he's got seven out there that he's having a look at. <coughs> really, you can just see the concentration there in the judge's face. He knows he's got a lot of great quality puppies here. Yep. So he's just going to move the group around so he can see them all again.
looks like the toy dogs are just going to go around one at a time while our judge, Terry Stacy makes a decision and picks a winner. I feel like it really must be easier for the judge to just get a nice look when they go one at a time. While it's nice to see them move as a group when you get one at a time, he really gets to take a few moments and just take it all in. Yeah, there are advantages to both. We're going to do our best to get back to the herding group once we have a winner here in the toy group. Remember, if there's any part of the AKC Royal Canaan National Allbreed Puppy Stakes that you missed that you want to go back and watch, we, maybe we missed your favorite, it's all going to be available on demand on akc.tv. We have two rings going on at the same time, doing our best to be in two places at once. But all this content will be available on our website, akc.tv, and on the AKC TV app, which is available on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Judge is going to have a look at the miniature pincher. Go around. Really nice that he's giving all these young dogs a really nice time in the ring. It a really chance is. to show off. Pomeranian. And the Toy Manchester Terrier is going around in the toy group. The Puppy and Junior Stakes here in Orlando, Florida. Such a fun day here with all these special events. Not only is there the Puppy Junior Stakes happening today, we had the breed and group judging for the National Owner Handled Series Finals, the top dogs in the National Owner Handled Series are compete, invited to come and compete here in Orlando. Those groups will also be available later on AKZ.TV and Best in Show for the National Owner Handled Series Finals will kick off our live stream tomorrow evening at 4.45 for the AKC National Championship. Tomorrow evening, we'll also feature the non-sporting group, the hound group, the toy group, and the sporting uh -huh. group. Looks like our judge is going to make some decisions here in the toy group. The miniature pincher got pulled out first, followed by the toy Manchester Terrier, the pug, and the Havanese. And that is it. The miniature pincher is the winner of the toy group at the AKC Royal Canaan on National Aubrey Puppy and Junior Stakes. We're going to check in next door with the herding group. Once again, our judge in the herding group is Mr. William Stebbins from Port St. Lucie, Florida. The well, same thing is gonna happen over here. The judge is gonna get a look inside the mouth, feel each dog individually. on his hands down the neck, the back, each of the legs. And this is all before they get to take a lap around that ring, just so the judge can see how well they move. Now this judge is not comparing any of the dogs in the ring against each other. The judges are always comparing these dogs to their written standard to see how well they do as a breed.
If you are just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. You are watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis, and we are in the herding group. We just switched over from the toy group. We are doing our best to switch between the two rings. This is the Cardigan Corgi in the herding group right now. Gonna go down and back for our judge. Cardigan Corgis are the Corgis with the tail. Pembroke's do not have a tail. We'll see the Pembroke Welsh Corgi next. There are some other differences like size, ear shape, that separate the two breeds. We will be with you live all weekend. We'll be bringing you our live show from here in Orlando, AKC TV live at the national championship, as well as coverage of both evening group and best in show judging on Saturday and Sunday starting at 4.45 p.m. and the agility finals which are on Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. So much to look forward to here in Orlando. We've seen two groups judged here in the Puppy and Junior Stakes so far. We saw the working group which was won by the Siberian Husky and we just saw the miniature pincher win the toy group. And while we are switching between those two rings, it looks like our terrier group is just about to start. Yep, terrier group's coming in the other ring. We're gonna stay with the herding group. Here's our judge, William Stevens, picks a winner. pulled out the German Shepherd Dog and the Belgian Malinois in the herding group, the Bearded Collie and the Berger Picard. There's the Australian Shepherd and the Smooth Collie. The Miniature American Shepherd and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. See if our judge in the herding group wants to have him move again. He'll probably have him go one at a time around or maybe around as a group. We'll see. <coughs> yep, looks like we're going to go around one at a time. There goes the German Shepherd dog. Here comes the Belgian Malinois. The Bearded Collie. Here comes the Berger Picard. I'm such a sucker for those that beard mm -hmm. and those eyebrows on the Berger Picard. The Australian Shepherd. There goes the Smooth Collie. The miniature American Shepherd is going around. And the Cardigan Welsh Corgi.
Looks like the Australian Shepherd is the winner of the herding group. The Berger Picard is second. The Smooth Collie is third. And the Bearded Collie is fourth. We're going to take a quick break and we will be right back with continuing coverage of the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. Do humans know they are paying too much with Verizon? No, they just don't know that Sprint's Unlimited plan gives you five lines for just $24 per month per line. Wow, that would save us... Nearly $8,000. What about the network? Now Sprint has LTE Advanced. It's up to two times faster than before. No way. Robots don't lie. The man in the mom jeans is correct. Get up to two times faster speeds and see how you can save nearly $1,000 over Verizon and AT&T with Sprint. Join AKC TV Live for an all access pass at North America's largest dog show. Get all the latest dog news from diving dogs to agility and obedience to best in show. AKC TV Live at the AKC National Championship presented by Royal Canin. Beginning Friday at noon, only on AKC TV. This isn't just play. This is your puppy becoming a dog. He's growing, building muscle, developing bones. At Royal Canin, we obsess over every detail of how dogs develop so your puppy can get the nutrition he needs to become magnificent. Royal Canin, incredible in every detail. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. If you are joining us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or AKC.TV, we thank you for joining us. You are watching the live stream of the AKC Royal Canin National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. We're currently watching the Terrier Group, and these little guys are still puppies, 6 to 18 months old. Our judges making his way around, taking a look at every dog. Though Some of them will be on here on the table, so he can get or a ramp just to get a closer look, taking a look inside the mouth and feeling all the way down the back on each of the legs you see right there. We are switching between two rings as these puppy and junior stakes go on throughout the afternoon. So far we've done the working group, the toy group, and the herding group. We are now watching the terrier group. All to get to best in stakes. If you are joining us on social media, thank you for being there. But we would love you to check out AKC.TV. Like we said, we're switching between the two rings. So if you download us on our apps, Amazon Fire, Roku, or Apple TV, you won't miss a thing because we are rolling. Our cameras are rolling on all of these rings. So if we switch back and forth and you miss a dog that you wanted to see in a certain group, you will be able to see that on demand. All of that content will be on for you for de on demand. And of course, I am Marissa Sarbach, sitting here with Bill Ellis. We're from AKC TV. Happy to be here, live in Orlando. So we got to see the Siberian Husky win the working group already. Just saw the Australian Shepherd win the herding group. We saw the toy group was won by the miniature pincher, shaping up to be a beautiful group of dogs that'll compete for best in stakes later, which will be really fun. It's going to be judged by a panel of three judges. Very different. We haven't seen that yet. <coughs> We still have the sporting group, Which hound group to come. The non-sporting group is coming in in the other ring, right next door to us here. Remember, if you are posting on social media, we would love to see your pictures. You guys have done a great job of sharing them so far. Don't stop now. 
keep it going. This hashtag, this is AKC. You can even follow the hashtag now on Instagram, which is really great because then you can see not only your pictures and the AKC TV pictures using that hashtag, but you can also see everybody else who's posting using that hashtag, sharing pictures of their dog, sharing pictures from right here in Orlando. I've seen some really great ones. We saw uh, one from St. George, Utah, which was really cool to see somebody so far away. We've seen all of our dogs here in Orlando that have come from far away. They've been posting pictures. We had one from Puerto Rico. These dogs really coming from all over to be here today. So again, you are watching the Terrier Group. Our judge for the Terrier Group is Peter Green. Pretty legendary handler, particularly with Terriers. Showed several top dogs. The only handler to have gone best in show at Westminster Kennel Club four times, four different dogs. Very impressive and really an honor for these puppies to be able to be shown in front of him. They're having a good time. <laughs> So you're watching the Terry group right now. Next door to us is the non-sporting group. We're going to switch back and forth a little bit, try and bring you as much action as we can. Anything we miss will be available on akc.tv on demand. You'll be able to watch all the groups and best in stakes in their entirety. So much content will be available from this fun weekend here in Orlando. We saw the National Owner Handled Series final group judging earlier. Those were filmed and will be available on demand and they will lead off our evening coverage tomorrow starting at 4.45 p.m. with the National Owner Handled Series finals best in show. Looking at the Glen of Amal Terrier on your screen right now. One of the four native Irish terrier breeds. The thing I love about the puppies is they're so new to this, so they're very inquisitive. They really are interested in what that judge is doing. So many wagging tails. <laughs> These dogs are really great, spirited, loyal companions. We always say they have no trouble relaxing after hours, but they are all business when it comes to work. They have a great work ethic. So right now you are looking at the Manchester Terrier. Give the judge a great look before they take a lap around the ring. These dogs are extremely quick-witted. Quick very observant, very alert, great watchdogs. We saw the toy Manchester Terrier in the toy group. This is the standard Manchester Terrier. Exact same breed, just different sizes. They're shown in those two varieties. Bill, is it more difficult to tell when they are puppies between the standard and the toy, or is there still a considerable size difference? No, it's very, very clear as to which variety is which. And this is the American Hairless Terrier on the table right now.
And as you see, really no coat there, so not much grooming involved. That means you might want to knit this dog a sweater for those cold months. Of course, right here in Orlando, we don't have that problem. And Peter Green is going to have a look at the Wirefox Terrier right now. Uh, he knows all these Terrier breeds very well, but he's shown many top Wirefox Terriers. This is Bill McFadden with the Wirefox Terrier. I know Bill won the Terrier group last year here in the Puppy Junior Stakes with the Wirefox Terrier. We'll see if he can do it again this afternoon. Now these dogs in the early days were used really in combination with foxhounds for hunting, also just general vermin control. Great in stables, great in kennels. Of course, most of the dogs we'll see here in this terrier group, very high activity level. They Just love to be active. Sorry, Marissa. <laughs> Just a reminder, next door is the non-sporting group. We'll bring you a little bit of that shortly. Try to bring you as much action as we can from the puppy and junior stakes here in Orlando. Right now, you're looking at the Welsh Terrier. which is being shown by Tracy Zaris. We saw Tracy go best in show on Wednesday night here with a Welsh Terrier. We'll see if she has the same success with the youngster. We saw the Wire Fox Terrier a couple minutes ago. Here's the Smooth Fox Terrier. Different breeds. This young guy might win for most wagging tail. Very happy to be here. If you're just joining us, I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here with Marissa Sarbacker, for AKC TV. You're watching the Terrier Group at the AKC Royal Canaan National Albreed Puppy and Junior Stakes. So just far, we saw the Siberian Husky win the Working Group, the Miniature Pincher win the Toy Group, and the Australian Shepherd win the Herding Group. And just a reminder, because this is the puppy and junior stakes, you're watching these puppies that are between six and 18 months. So a little bit younger than a lot of the others that we've seen in the past few days. I guess this is a really fun event here in Orlando for all these breeder owner and handlers to show off their youngsters. And it's really fun for us because we have our AKC TV set up right in the middle of all the action here in the convention center. So we can see everybody passing by, especially when we're doing a show on set, which is awesome.
Our judge Peter Green is looking at the Cairn Terrier right now. The Cairn Terrier's history really traces back to the working terriers of Scotland. Those terriers were used for hunting, companionship, vermin control. And a lot of our terriers, they come from the United Kingdom area. Yes, that's a common theme with these terriers. Almost all of them originated in the United Kingdom. The Sealy Ham Terriers on the table right now. It's gonna go down and back for our judge, Peter Green, in the Terrier group. And these Terriers come from a combination of the West Highland White Terrier, the Wire Fox Terrier, the Bull Terrier, and even the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Basically, the goal was to create even a hardier terrier. They're hardy. They very are. Very feisty. Have that typical terrier personality. Very spunky. They are very spunky. Peter Green's looking at the Parson Russell Terrier right now. See him get a really good feel of the dog on the table. Important for these judges to examine each dog individually by putting their hands on them and then watching them move. Judging each dog against their written standard, which describes the ideal specimen in each breed. Not comparing these dogs to one another, really just comparing them against that standard and finding the one that he believes best represents that standard. And then Parson Russell's Terrier, introduced back into America in the 30s. It was originally recognized as the Jack Russell Terrier, but that name changed in about 2003. This is the Lakeland Terrier right now that's about to go down and back in the Terrier group. It's funny, the breed has really never been too popular as a pet, but a lot of these dogs have actually really stood out in the show rings around the country. This is the West Highland White Terrier. Westy for short. Westy's always come in this beautiful white color. And they're so cute, so self-confident, spunky, really determined, but a great, happy nature. Just to remind everyone, you're watching the Terrier Group. 
in the AKC Royal Canaan National Allbreed Puppy and Junior Stakes. I'm Bill Ellis here with Marissa Sarbach. In the ring next door to us, we have the non-sporting group being judged right now. Group judging for the Puppy and Junior Stakes happens in two rings simultaneously, so we'll do our best to bring as much of the action as we can. If you miss anything, any of your favorite breeds, or you want to go back and watch any, all of the group judging and best in stakes will be available on demand on akc.tv in their entirety. Once we're done for the afternoon, I know our team will work as hard as they can to get it up there as quick as possible for you. This is the Chesky Terrier on the table right now. Chesky Terriers are very unique. They have a very different coat texture than a lot of the Terriers. Many of these Terriers have a harsh, coarse coat. Chesky Terriers have a softer, silkier coat that is clipped. Different grooming than many of the other Terrier breeds. This little guy is the Norwich Terrier. Norwich Terriers have this characteristic prick ear. At one time, Norwich and Norfolk Terriers were the same breed. Norfolk Terriers have ears that fold over. There are several other differences, but they are two distinct breeds now. This breed really bred for ability rather than uniformity in terms of look either. especially with these long coats we see, the judge is really gonna lift up the fur to see underneath, check out the eyes, have a look in the mouth. Yeah, he's gotta feel underneath all that hair. Get a good feel of how the dog is built, their structure. Even feel the texture of that coat. Sky Terriers are Long, low, and level, as you see here. Lower to the ground, twice as long as they are tall, with level top lines. They are heavier bone. They have very powerful legs and feet. This breed is actually one of our more rare terrier breeds, considered one of the rarest in both our country and in England. But those short little legs you see moving there, they were very ideal for digging and that protective double coat, super impervious to the harsh climate where they come from in Scotland. And here's the Norfolk Terrier. We saw the Norfolk Terrier Winston win the Terrier group last night and go reserve best in show. It's done very well. We'll see if if this little guy can one day have, have a the career like success. Winston. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying a snack there, <laughs> having a really good time. It is great to see the puppies enjoy it, though. I want this to be a great <coughs> experience for them. They're definitely all having a great time. These dogs are such natural hunters. They have such a strong prey drive. They do really well in a lot of our dog sports like tracking, agility, earth dog.
Right now we're taking a look at the Scottish Terrier. And we did have a very famous Scotty in our country. That's really how they became known. It was actually Franklin Delano Roosevelt's dog. Pop quiz, Bill, do you know her name? Oh, I definitely <laughs> do not. <laughs> we said we're going to have a contest with all the presidential dogs. Well, the name was Fala. <coughs> I would never have guessed. <laughs> This dog is having a really good time. This is the Australian Terrier on the table right now. We are getting close to the end of the Terrier group in the AKC Royal Canaan National Albury Puppy and Junior Stakes. Hopefully we'll be able to switch over and jump to the next ring after this. Yep, we have the non-sporting group going on next door. Going to do our best to get over there at the completion of the Terrier group. Right now you're taking a look at that Australian Terrier go up and down in front of the judge. They were first officially recognized in Australia. It was back in the 1800s. And here's the Rat Terrier on the table. These dogs are extremely athletic. They excel at many other AKC sports, like agility. If you want to put them to work, they love that. Traditionally a farm dog, but they've always been used as watchdogs, hunting dogs. They can do a lot. Some people now use them just as a companion. But they definitely need their exercise like anything else in the terrier group. Our last dog in the terrier group is the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Bill, you know you have a fact that you want to share with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've said it. I've said a lot this week. <laughs> but everybody loves this fact. Dandy You've Dinmont's, been hearing it on social media. Yeah, they're the only breed that are named for a fictional character. They're named or a character in Guy Mannering's novel. Excuse me, Walter Scott's novel, Guy Mannering. Our last dog in the terrier group. We'll see if our judge, Peter Green, wants to pull out some favorites. He's going to have another look right now. So many beautiful terriers for our judge Peter Green to pick from as he walks down the line and has another look. <coughs> oh, 
we could see him do a few things. We could either see him pick right now or he could make a short list. We've seen judges do both. Looks like he's going to make a short list, I'm guessing, as he pulls out some of the terriers that he likes. There comes the Bedlington Terrier to join the American Staffordshire Terrier that he pulled out. The Wire Fox Terrier is going to come out with the Welsh Terrier. The Border Terrier. The Sealyham. The Sky Terrier, the Norfolk Terrier, and the Scottish Terrier are all coming out. going to go around one at a time for our judge Peter Green to have another look here in the Terrier group watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. Amstaff went around the Bedlington. The Wire Fox Terrier is going to make a lap around the ring. The Welsh and the Border Terrier are going to go around. The Sealyham. The Sky Terrier went around. The Norfolk Terrier and the Scottish Terrier. Now our judge Peter Green will get to pick his winners. Have another look at all of them. The Bedlington is the winner. The American Staffordshire Terrier is second. Border Terrier looks like is third. The Welsh Terrier is fourth. nicely done by the Bedlington Terrier. We're going to jump over next door, check in with the non-sporting group. Our judge, Jacqueline Stacy, has been over all these dogs. Jacqueline Stacy's from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. We saw her husband, Terry Stacy, judge the toy group. We'll see if she's going to make a short list here in the non-sporting group. And of course, if you feel like you missed something, from one of these groups because we were in a different ring. We promise you will still be able to see it. It will be on AKC.TV. You can stream it there. We'll have all that content on demand. Looks like our judge, Jacqueline Stacey, is just going to have a look at a couple dogs at a time, go around the ring to the other side. Probably starting to look at a couple of the dogs that she liked when she judged them individually. Remember, if you are following on social media, thank you so much for doing so on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can find us, follow us on any of those platforms, but we would also love for you to head over to akc.tv. We have all of this content that we keep talking about on akc.tv for everybody to see. It's on demand all the time. So our judge, Jacqueline Stacy had the Dalmatian, the Cholo Eats Quintly, the Kazan, and the Chinese Sharpay go around to the other side of the ring. She's looking at the Lhasa Apso and the Bichon Frise go around right now. There they are. Remember, you are watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. So these puppies are between six and 18 months. And now the French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier are gonna go around in the non-sporting group.
she's given these non-sporting dogs a really good look. And it looks like she's pulling out the French Bulldog to be the winner, followed by the Boston Terrier, the Kazan, the Sholowitz Quintley, and that is it. The French Bulldog has won the non-sporting group at the AKC Royal Canaan National Aubrey Puppy and Junior Stakes. We're going to take a quick break, be back in a moment. We're going to see the sporting group and the hound group. Home. Home is where family comes together. Home is where you go to relax. Home is where you feel secure. With the AKC line of premium pet products, you can rest assured that your pet feels safe and secure in their home too. AKC, because every home deserves a good dog and every dog deserves a good home. AKC Secure Pet Living Products, available at The Home Depot. Is your pet trying to tell you something? The Pet Comfort Feeding System by WeatherTech. 100% non-toxic and lead-free. Made from U.S. stainless steel and certified by the NSF. Designed to trap spills and messes. Trust the way you feed your pet. Choose the perfect size and color at PetComfort.com. This is a Labrador Retriever. This is a Golden Retriever. They may seem similar, but when you take a closer look, the details tell a different story. These dogs eat, digest, and process energy differently. At Royal Canin, we obsess over these details. So we developed over 200 specific formulas for cats and dogs. Because precise nutrition can transform your pet into a magnificent animal. Royal Canin, incredible in every detail. Welcome back to the AKC Royal Canin National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes here on AKC TV. We are just starting the sporting group. Sporting group this afternoon is being judged by Mrs. Carolyn McAteer from Pinehurst, North Carolina. Sporting breeds fall into a few different categories. You're watching the Irish setter right now. We have a few setters and pointers. They mark the game for the hunter. We have spaniels who flush the game and retrievers who go get it. Just a reminder to everyone, the Puppy and Junior Stakes is being judged in two rings at the same time. Gonna do our best to bring you as much action as we can. Once everything has been judged, our hardworking team will get it available on demand on AKC TV as quick as they can. You will be able to watch each group and best in stakes in its entirety. We've seen a few groups judged already this afternoon. We started with the working group. The winner was the Siberian Husky. We saw the toy group, which was won by the Miniature Pincher. The herding group, which was won by the Australian Shepherd. The terrier group we just saw was won by the Bedlington Terrier. The French Bulldog won the non-sporting group. We have the sporting group in the ring right now. We have the hound group coming in next door. Once those two groups are judged, we'll get to best in stakes. It will be really fun. And we're going to have three judges for best in stakes, so a slightly different format. This is the pointer that you're watching go down and back right now for our judge, Carolyn McAteer.
If you are just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. We would love to see your dog pictures. We have been saying that all day. We've been saying that all week. You can share them, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you're using that hashtag, this is AKC. That hashtag on Instagram, you can actually follow it. And if you do, you won't just see your pictures. You won't just see our AKC TV pictures if you follow us, but you'll see everybody posting on that same hashtag. So that is, this is AKC. This is the flat-coated retriever that we're looking at on our screen right now. Black-coated retrievers are enthusiastic workers. They have amazing retrieving skills. A very athletic breed. All these sporting dogs are very athletic. If you're watching on Facebook or checking us out on any other social media, Twitter, Instagram, we definitely urge you to head on over to akc.tv. We have all of our content there. You can download the apps. They're right there on your screen. That's Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV. You'll get to see all of this as soon as it is over. If you missed anything between the two rings, I know we've been switching for the puppy and junior stakes. It's because we have each of the groups going on in rings right next to each other. So we're trying to keep on top of both here. But if you feel like you missed something, make sure you check akc.tv. After this is all over, they will be up on the website. The Vishla is going down and back right now in the sporting group. These also have another name. They were also known as the Hungarian Pointer. They were developed back in medieval Hungary. Excellent pointing and retrieving ability. And this youngster is the Irish red and white setter. A reminder, all these dogs that we're seeing this afternoon are between 6 and 18 months old, competing in the AKC Royal Canaan National Aubrey Puppy and Junior Stakes. A really fun and exciting event for everyone here to show off their youngsters. We had so many fun events happening today in Orlando. We had the National Owner Handled Series Finals Breeding Group Judging. Those seven groups will also be available on demand on akc.tv. That's our website, as well as on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Lots of specialties going on around the building. Some group shows, a herding group show, a sporting group show. Junior Agility got started today. Everyone's getting their booths set up for Meet the Breeds. We're going to have a really large Meet the Breeds event here tomorrow and Sunday. And of course, we kicked off our live coverage today with our show earlier, AKC TV Live at the National Championship. We had some really fun guests. Over the weekend, there'll be lots of AKC Sports that we are filming and making available on demand, including some coverage of agility and obedience, rally. This is the Golden Retriever on your screen right now. And speaking of Golden Retrievers, we actually had a very, very sweet Golden Retriever on our show at noon today. That interview was amazing. This dog is a therapy dog, and he went to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida after the shooting, and he was able to help 
those students and parents and teachers get through that time. And it was just incredible to hear that story. That interview, really great. You won't want to miss it. You can find all of that content, that interview, anything else that we've covered here in Orlando, and we have a lot of it, that is all on the website, akc.tv. This is the Gordon Setter on your screen right now. Gordon Setters are the largest of the setters. Heavier boned, more body than the other setters. They were developed that way based on their origin. We're getting a look at the curly coated retriever right now. One of the oldest retriever breeds. These dogs are judged the same way that we saw them judged the last few days. Each breed has a written standard that describes the ideal specimen for each breed. The judges will use that standard and judge the dog against that standard instead of comparing one dog to another. And make a decision based on which breed, which dog they feel best meets that breed's standard. And for this breed, you notice that very interesting, distinct curly coat, really water resistant, super great in tough weather. Another breed with a dense protective coat. This is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, developed right here in America. Just a reminder to everyone, this is the sporting group that we're watching right now in the AKC Royal Canaan National Albreed Puppy and Junior Stakes. Next door, we have the Hound Group. These groups are judged two at a time in two different rings, so we're doing our best to bring you as much coverage as we can. They are all being filmed in their entirety, and they will be available later on demand on akc.tv. Give our hardworking production team some time to get them posted later. Once the sporting group and the hound group are done, we're going to have best in stakes. And we did see somebody asking on Facebook who took the toy group. That was the miniature pincher. We also saw the working group won by the Siberian Husky and the Terrier group won by the Bedlington Terrier. The Australian Shepherd won the herding group and the French Bulldog won the non-sporting group. This is the Spinoni Italiano. Our judge is going over right now. And Bill, for a lot of these puppies, this may be their first time in the show ring, right? It could be. My guess is that many of them have been shown before. I'm sure we have some who are 
really young, close to that six-month mark, and I'm sure we have some who are on the other end of that spectrum at the 18-month mark. Have to be between six to 18 months to compete here in the Puppy and Junior Stakes. This is the German short-haired pointer that we're looking at right now. Very versatile hunting dog. Popular breed mm -hmm. within the top 10 most popular breeds in the country. We can see why they're so versatile. They do really well as hunting dogs, show dogs, just regular companions. They do well really in everything. Great watchdogs. Here is the gray ghost, the Weimariner. Always this striking gray color. Another very versatile hunting breed. We have lots more live coverage to bring you the rest of the weekend, including our show AKC TV live at the National Championship. Very mm. excited for that. That'll be tomorrow and Sunday, both at noon. We'll have live coverage both evenings of the group and best in show competition starting at 445 both evenings. Tomorrow we'll see the AKC National Owner Handled Series finals best in show and then we'll see the non-sporting group the hound group the toy group and the sporting group sunday night we'll see three more groups and best in show and also on sunday the national agility invitational finals will be live starting around six o'clock so much going on here in orlando and we are right in the middle of it, live streaming all the events. We have everything on our website, akc.tv, but also we have our setup for AKC TV right in the middle of all the action here in the convention center. So we hope that if you see us, you stop by and say hi. Also, if you're posting any pictures, please remember that hashtag. This is AKC. We want to see those dog pictures. We've seen so many so far, and there's never enough, really. We're watching the Labrador Retriever right now, the most popular breed in this country. I have a lab at home who better be watching. Tegan. Tegan the Lab. <laughs> you can follow Tegan on Instagram, <laughs> Tegan the Lab, and she will be using the hashtag ThisIsAKC in all her posts. This is the English Setter. Love all these sporting dogs, but I might be a little partial to the English Setter. I have a lot of them. <laughs> They're a fabulous breed, the most moderate of the four setters. They have this really sweet, 
laid back disposition, but they make wonderful companions in the field. They are very talented hunters. They do really well in a lot of our dog sports too. Obedience and agility in particular. Great family dogs and they can do very well as therapy dogs. If you're just joining us, I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. You are watching AKC TV. This is an exclusive stream of the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. So these are our six to 18 month old little pups. Currently in the one ring here, we have Sporting in the ring. Right next door, we have the Hound Group, which we will transition over to once this group has finished up. But don't worry, you won't miss out on any of the action. We have our cameras rolling on both since they're going at the same time, and we'll be posting that as soon as this is all finished on AKC.TV. This is the Barbet that you're watching right now. They are actually in the miscellaneous group. Breeds enter the miscellaneous group before they become fully recognized by the American Kennel Club, but we welcome the miscellaneous breeds here at the AKC Royal Canyon National Albury Puppy Stakes, and they compete in the groups in which they'll be assigned once they become fully recognized. So a really fun look at a lesser known breed. And it's just great that we get that here in Orlando, and we really have breeds from all over the country and the world. It's very exciting. Now we get to see the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever in the sporting group. A reminder, the hound group is being judged next door. Judge, groups are judged two at a time. The AKC Royal Canyon National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. We're doing our best to bring you as much of the action as we can. Each group and best in stakes will be available on demand later on AKC.TV to our website. Right now you're looking at the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Such an alert hunter with such a strong desire to please. You can see that. And have a very interesting water repellent double coat too. And here is the wire haired pointing griffon. That characteristic harsh, dense, coarse, protective coat, and of course, that adorable beard and eyebrows. Got to be ready for a wet beard if you're going to have <laughs> one of these guys around. We get a look at the wire haired Vishla. We saw the Vishla earlier. This is the wire haired Vishla. They're different breeds, few differences between the two, but you can see if we get a good look at 
this youngster, you can see that little beard, that wiry coat that's a little different than the smooth-haired Vishal that we saw earlier. Thank you so much to everybody who is joining us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and AKC.TV. I'm Marissa Sarbach here with Bill Ellis. We are covering the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. These are your six to 18 month olds. So far, we have gone through the working group, which was won by the Siberian Husky. The toy group, taken by the Miniature Pincher. Herding group, the Australian Shepherd. The Bedlington Terrier took the Terrier group. The French Bulldog and the non-sporting. And right now we are watching the sporting <coughs> just down the ring from us. In the next ring over, we have the Hound group as well. We will try and check in with them as these are going simultaneously, but we'll try and check in with them as soon as we have a winner over here. Of course, you will not be missing out on anything if you just wait till everything is over and then you check back on AKC.TV. We'll have everything put up as the two different rings so you can see everything that you missed. We're looking at the German wire-haired pointer right now. In the sporting group. German wire-haired Pointers have this weather-resistant coat that we've seen on a few different sporting breeds. So it made them really popular as a sporting dog back in Germany for years before they were even officially recognized. Very talented and efficient hunters. Mm -hmm. We are very excited to be bringing you this coverage live here from Orlando, Florida, AKC TV, right in the middle of all the action. And we have all of these live, screen, live streams exclusively for you on our website. Of course, tomorrow we will also be holding our noon show to show you what's going on around the convention center. We'll be holding that as well on Sunday and then 445 for the rest of the action, Saturday and Sunday. Our judge, Carolyn McAteer, is looking at the Legoro Romagnolo in the sporting group right now. We had a very sweet Legoro Romagnolo on our show for Good Dog TV this week. We also had that live here from Orlando. He was a very fun guest I on know, our set. I know, he was. So sweet. And he really loved our guest, which was Mr. Dana Klein, a judge here from the AKC, who we got to see in action yesterday. So we're working our way through the sporting group at the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. We have the Hound group getting judged next door. We have two groups going on at the same time, so we'll make sure all that's available on demand later on AKC TV for you to go back and watch. This is the American Water Spaniel that Judge Carolyn McAteer is going over right now. American water spaniels were developed in this country in Wisconsin. If you see that hashtag on your screen, that means we want to be seeing your pictures. That is, this is AKC. Put that on any picture that you post, please. If you're here in Orlando, post those and use that hashtag. If you're not here in Orlando, we still want to see your pictures, especially those of you who have seen dogs and humans watching our shows on AKC TV. It's great to see those. 
Bill and I have had a fun time searching through those photos. And we've even shared a few of those on your TV. So you've been seeing those pictures. Who knows, you could see your photo up there. We've even reposted a few. Bill, really a theme here we're seeing in Orlando. These are such big groups of dogs. We have so many dogs here and such high quality. We do. Over 1,200 just puppy and junior dogs today for the puppy and junior stakes. So many. This Welsh Springer Spaniel on the ramp right now is <laughs> very happy to be here. I think all the puppies are happy when you hold that treat that is, right in front of their yeah, face. Exactly. They love Getting it. A snack. <laughs> Serious wagging tail there. And they were like, I will stand <laughs> here for anything if you have that treat. <laughs> We have over 5,000 dogs entered at the AKC National Championship, with, which kicks off tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow and Sunday. Our live coverage includes our show AKC TV live from the National Championship tomorrow and Sunday during the day. We will be have, uh, bringing you live coverage of the evening group and best in show judging starting at 4.45 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. And then the Agility Finals, Sunday beginning at 6. So we just saw the Welsh Springer Spaniel. This is the English Springer Spaniel on the ramp right now. And really when we see these dogs go up on the ramp or up on the table, it's just to give our judge, Carolyn, a better look at these dogs, right? Yes. Allows her to go over them very thoroughly, which she needs to do with, with, with each dog, each breed. Yeah. Your misbreed here, the English Springer Spaniel, exceptionally intelligent. They're often trained for detection work. You can search for weapons, drugs, explosives. They're super versatile. We had a very sweet English Springer Spaniel neighbor in New York City for a long time that lived Did you? next door to us. Did Tegan hang out with them? Tegan would hang out with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Tegan the Lab's never met a stranger. <laughs> it's a good way to go through life. Yeah, a guard dog she is not. <laughs> she might guard us against the squirrels. <laughs> A new breed to the American Kennel Club just earlier this year. They were recognized in January. This is the Nederlandse Quaker Hunja. We call them Quakers for short. We recognized two new breeds this year at the American Kennel Club. Quakers were one. The other one was the Grand Basse Grafomoneau in the Hound Group. Call those GBGVs for short. Now these Quakers are considered quite the true sporting dogs too. They're interesting traits, energetic, friendly, ready for work. They can really have such confident personalities. We're getting close to the end of the sporting group here at the AKC Royal Canaan National Allbreed Puppy and Junior Stakes. We have the Hound Group going on next door. Hopefully we'll get you over there. Going to do our best and then we will have Best in Stakes 
so far this afternoon, we saw the Siberian Husky win the working group, the Miniature Pincher win the toy group, the Herding group was won by the Australian Shepherd, the Bedlington Terrier won the Terrier group, and we saw the French Bulldog win the non-sporting group. We're getting a look at the Hound group right now, just for a moment. There's the PBGV on the table. Back over to watch the end of the sporting group with the Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniels come in three color varieties. Same breed, just three varieties based on color. This is the Ask Cobb Cocker Spaniel, which stands for any solid color other than black. The live stream that you're watching now is the same live stream that's available on AKC.TV and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Once all these groups are judged and best in stakes, our team will get to work to make sure that all this content is available on demand for you. That'll be later. But you will have the opportunity to go back and watch all the group judging and best in stakes in its entirety. So if we missed any of your favorites, you can go back and enjoy them. And those apps are right there. We're just right there on your screen. Also available on demand is our live streams from the last three days, the shows in the Orlando cluster, as well as the National Owner Handled Series Finals group judging, which was earlier this afternoon. The AKC National Owner Handled Series Finals Best in Show will kick off our evening coverage tomorrow, which begins at 4.45 on the AKC TV. This is the Black Cocker Spaniel. description of that dog is that we call it Mary. Perfect description. It really is. And our third variety of Cocker Spaniels is the party color Cocker Spaniel. Party colors are white in any combination of the solid colors. You can see our judge, Carolyn, really getting a nice feel of the legs. She'll take a look at the back, run her hand down there, check the back legs. Especially important to do that in any of these breeds that are heavier coated, like the Cocker Spaniel. She's got a feel underneath all that coat. And there is a lot to get through with those. There goes the party color Cocker. That sweet face is the English Cocker Spaniel. In this country, we have Cocker Spaniels and English Cocker Spaniels. In the rest of the world, they have Cocker Spaniels and American Cocker <laughs> Spaniels. It's funny how it changes where you go. <coughs> A 
and these English cockers, really easy to train, very cheerful and sweet. But with this breed, we do say the personality can vary a lot between them. They do quite well in a lot of our dog sports. Agility, tracking, obedience, fly ball. All the dogs you're seeing this afternoon are between 6 and 18 months old, competing in the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. We're nearing the end of the sporting group. We have the hound group that's getting judged next door. And once our final two groups here are completed, we will have best in stakes for you. We'll have a little bit of a different format. It will be judged by a panel of three judges. And why is it that we choose to have three judges for that? Just a nice way to make it a bit of a different experience. It really is a really great experience for these puppies as they're kind of entering the show world. Yes, it is a really fun event. You can tell they love it. Even here, just everybody's wagging their tail. And our final dog in the sporting group is the Sussex Spaniel. Sussex Spaniels always have this longer lower build. Originally developed in Sussex, England. And they have a really distinct color, you see it there. Almost like a golden liver color. It was actually one of the first breeds recognized by the AKC. Now the sporting dogs will line back up in the puppy and junior stakes here and our judge Carolyn McAteer will have another look at all of them. Walk back down the line, give everybody up another look. We we'll get a chance to see if she'll either make a short list or maybe she already has an idea of what she's thinking. If you're watching us on social media, thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to check us out, akc.tv as well. We'll have all of this posted. Oh. The judge is going to pull out some of her favorites to have another look at, including the Irish Setter, the Brittany, the Pointer, the Golden Retriever, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, the German Short-Haired Pointer, comes the Lagoto Romagnolo, Welsh Springer Spaniel, the party color Cocker Spaniel. Nine 
sporting dogs out there to have another look at. They're going to go around one at a time. There goes the Irish setter, the Brittany. There's the pointer. Really Golden retriever. Great energy from the crowd out here. Everyone's excited. <laughs> the Chesapeake Bay retriever. There's the German short-haired pointer. The Lagoda Romagnolo. The Welsh Springer Spaniel. And there is the Party Color Cocker Spaniel. So what exactly does this give our judge a chance to see this last lap around the ring? Right, so she was able to pull out her favorites, right, based on what she saw and felt during their individual examination. And this gives her a chance to have another look, remember what she saw on those individual exams, and then choose her favorites. Pulling out the pointer. The German short-haired pointer, the party color cocker spaniel. The Irish setter. See if that's it. And that is it. The pointer is the winner of the sporting group. We're going to get you over to the hound group next door so that we can watch the completion of that group as our judge is finishing up there. The judge of the hound group is Mrs. Patricia Cruz from Corum, New York, our neck of the woods. She's finishing up the hound group judging with the dachshund varieties. I believe she's on her last one right now. Once we have a winner in that hound group, we will get to best in stakes. And just to give you a recap here so far, we've seen the working group won by the Siberian Husky, the toy group, the miniature pincher, herding group, the Australian shepherd, the terrier group, was the Bedlington Terrier, the non-sporting group, the French Bulldog, and the sporting group just now we saw the pointer. So now we are in that helm group. there you can see all the hounds lining up for our judge Patricia Cruz. A very full ring over there. Lots mm -hmm. of beautiful young hounds for her to choose from. Remember this is the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. So these are our six to 18 month old puppy and juniors. She is pulling out her favorites right now with the Saluki, the Irish Wolfhound, the Bloodhound, the Afghan and the Blue Tick Coon Hound. There comes the Greyhound and the Whippet. The Basset Hound looks like they're coming out. Beagle, PBGB. Excuse me, no PBGB, just the Basset Hound there at the end. There go the hounds around the ring one more time for our judge Patricia Cruz to have another look as she decides who will be her winner. There goes the whippet, she's pulling out first. The 
Basset Hound is getting pulled out next. There's the Afghan and the Irish Wolfhound. And that's it. The Whippet is first, the winner of the Hound Group. And we are all set for best in stakes. We are going to be back in a few moments with best in stakes. CTV. We all want more time, quality time to spend on what matters most to us. At the Canine Health Foundation, we're committed to helping dogs live longer, healthier lives. That means more playtime, more walk time, and more love time. Visit us to learn more. Roxy sure is having fun. Party's over, six legs. She's got some parica now. Some para what? Some parica is what kills ticks and fleas like us. Kills? Kills! Study show at the end of the month, it kills more ticks in less time than Frontline Plus and Next Guard. Guess we should mosey on! See you never, Roxy. Use Simparica with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. The most common side effects are vomiting, diarrhea, and lethargy. Say goodbye to ticks and fleas with monthly Simparica chewables. This is no ordinary puppy. This is a hero in the making. He is born, raised, and fed to reach his mental and physical best. Yukonuba gives him the animal proteins and DHA he needs for a strong body and mind. Feed the extraordinary in your puppy and make him a Yukonuba dog. Welcome back. You are watching the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. This is our puppies are 16, 18 months, so they are our young ones. We are just waiting now. Every group has finished up, so we've seen the working group, the Siberian Husky had that one, the toy group, one by the Miniature Pincher, the herding group, the Australian Shepherd, the Terrier group, the Bedlington Terrier, in the non-sporting group, the French Bulldog, in the sporting group, we had the Pointer, and in the Hound group, we had the Whippet. Sorry about that. I said uh, the French Bulldog is the non-sporting group. I believe I said sporting. That is the non-sporting. So best in stakes is going to be judged by a panel of three judges this afternoon, which will be a very fun format for us, something a little bit different. Our three judges are Elliot Weiss, Ed Biven, and Dennis Sprung. Dennis Sprung is president and CEO of the American Kennel Club from New York, New York. Elliot Weiss will be judging best in show at the AKC National Championship Sunday evening here. And Ed Biven will be judging best bred by exhibitor at the AKC National Championship. For those of you just joining us, thank you so much for doing so. We love for, to see you on social media. We would love to see your posts as well. You see that hashtag on the bottom left of your screen. This is AKC. Tell us and show us what makes AKC for you. What makes this great? Are you in Orlando or are you somewhere else in the country or somewhere else in the world? We have a lot of great people and dogs here from all over many different countries, which is so exciting. But we want to have a place to see all of your pictures. And we can do that by seeing that hashtag, this is AKC, especially on Instagram. There's an easy way if you type that in and then click tags, it'll pop right up with all the pictures that people have been posting using that hashtag, this is AKC. A great way to organize that. And we have been looking at those pictures. I've been very excited to see them. Bill, the entire AKC TV team and the American Kennel Club team. 
it's awesome to see everybody so involved and we know you are so proud of your dog so we want to see those pictures we've even been sharing some of them and some of them have made their way onto your tv screen so you never know when those could pop back up you know we've been talking about uh, that a lot this week but we want you to keep using it even after the show is over here so that we can continue to see them hopefully we'll get a chance to feature them on akc tv even after we're done here in Orlando. Because you can never have too many dog pictures. <laughs> we're going to get started with Best in Stakes. The pointer, the winner of the sporting group is first in. Followed by the Siberian Husky. Here comes the Australian Shepherd from the Herding Group. There's the Whippet, the winner of the Hound Group. And the Bedlington Terrier from the Terrier Group. There's the French Bulldog, the winner of the non-sporting group. And now we get a look at the miniature pincher from the toy group. There are seven dogs for our best in stakes at the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. As a reminder, all the dogs that competed today were between the ages of six and 18 months. Youngsters getting started. Looks like our judge is ready to have a closer look. Now the pointer. Once again, we have three judges for best in stakes. A little different than what we saw our previous three days in Orlando. Each judge will have the opportunity to go over a really, the dog. A really great opportunity for all of these youngsters, though, yep. to have three judges in the ring. Still very important for each judge to get the chance to go over each dog. And, Bill, we will see everybody do a lap as well, right? Yep, everyone will move individually for our panel of judges. And all of these puppies really doing so well, the puppies and juniors. Now the pointer will get a chance to move for our three judges. And goes the pointer down and back from the sporting group. As a reminder, the AKC Royal Canyon National Aubrey Puppy Stakes, Puppy and Junior Stakes groups were judged in two different rings at the same time, so we weren't able to bring you every dog, but our team will work as quickly as they can to make those available for you on demand so that you can go back and see any 
the groups that you might have missed or rewatch your favorite moments. Also available on demand from today's show will be the groups from the National Owner Handled Series Finals. And the best way to see all of that content, you just go straight to akc.tv or you can always download the apps. Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire. All of that content will be on demand for you if you missed any minute of it. This is the Siberian Husky, the winner of the working group. Each judge, once again, has a chance to go over the dog. Reminder, we are now in best in stakes of the AKC Royal Canaan National All-Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. These are our 6 to 18 month olds. And we have three judges in the ring taking a look each individually at each of these dogs. turn to go down and back for our judges. We will be back with you again tomorrow with lots of live coverage from the AKC National Championship, including AKC TV live from the National Championship, our fun show that we had this afternoon as well. Lots of great interviews and updates from around the show. And, and the evening coverage will begin at 445 on AKC TV. We'll get things kicked off tomorrow evening with the AKC National Owner Handled Series Finals Best in Show. And then we'll be bringing you four groups, the non-sporting group, the hound group, the toy group, and the sporting group. Looking at the Australian Shepherd right now, the winner of the herding group. Australian Shepherds, despite their name, were actually created right here in this country. It's an American breed. You are watching the Best of Stakes exclusively on AKC.TV. Happy to have you with us. I'm Marissa Sarbach sitting here with Bill Ellis. We are ringside covering the event. Australian Shepherds, like many of the herding breeds, very athletic, smart, easily trainable. They are very successful at many AKC sports, including obedience, rally, agility, herding. The list goes on. <laughs> it does. There's a sport out there for every dog. There are a lot of them going on here this weekend in Orlando. We'll be checking in at agility, obedience, rally, diving dogs, trick dog over the weekend. All of our Meet the Breeds booths are getting set up, which is really fun to see. It's 
think our judges are ready to see the Australian Shepherd move. Going around the ring, having a little fun. And here is the Whippet from the Hound Group. Built for speed. One of the fastest breeds. Well, we've seen the Whippets doing really, really well this week. Yep, Whiskey the Whippet won the Hound Group at all three shows here in Orlando that we brought you live previous three nights. And he went best in show two of those three days. So a really stellar week for Whiskey and a great kickoff to the AKC National Championship. Each of our three judges, Mr. Dennis Sprung, Elliot Weiss, and Ed Biven, will have a chance to go over each dog. Whippets might resemble a smaller greyhound, but they are a distinct breed. Established in Northern Britain. <coughs> Whippets are friendly, gentle, and affectionate. As long as they can get a good run in once in a while, they're pretty happy to just lay on a soft surface <laughs> like a, your couch or your bed. Next up is the winner of the Terrier group, the Bedlington Terrier. Very dedicated groomers. You'll notice. Take care of these Bedlington Terriers. It <laughs> takes a lot of work and a lot of talent and Absolutely. time. Absolutely. You'll notice the judges looking at certain dogs up on the table, and then some they're able to see right on the ground. But really, that just depends on size of the dog, how well they're able to see it either from the ground or right from the table and you know just each judge go over check the mouth check the face really run their hands down feel the coat as Bed well as the back bedlingtons are extremely athletic mm -hmm. they have a distinctive arch that you see over their back enables them to Brent and pivot on a dime. Like many of the Terriers, they are tenacious in temperament. Fun loving, cheerful. A breed that does not do well if they are bored. <laughs> so many of our breeds in the Terrier group. They need that activity. They need that outlet, mm -hmm. all that energy for sure.
Now our bed Lincoln Terrier. Taking a lap around the ring, just giving the judges a chance to see that movement. And again, not compare it to any of the other dogs in the ring, but really just compare each one against its written standard. If that was a good shot of the dead Bedlington going down and back there, give the judges a chance to see them moving away and toward them. And even here you notice the judges moving around the dog just to get every angle that they need. Yep, they've really given each dog enough time to stand on their own. Really gives the judges a good look. Now the Bedlington will go around the ring, give the judges a chance to see that outline from the side. Now the very cute French Bulldog. <laughs> we had some. So happy to be here. I know, they are sweet. We had some lovely Frenchies featured on our show, Good Dog TV, just a few weeks ago. French Bulldogs have grown in popularity. They ranked within the top five most popular breeds in America this year. Playful and sweet, they make great companions, great choices for people with smaller homes or apartments. Not a terribly high activity level. If you are watching right now and you have a picture you'd like us to see of your dog, Please use that hashtag we keep talking about. That's on your screen right now. This is AKC. We'll get a chance to organize those photos on Twitter or Instagram. Give me a chance to look at them. Give Bill a chance to look at them. And of course, anyone else here in Orlando or all over who wants to take a look at any of those pictures. If you use that hashtag, it'll organize them so that everybody can see the very cute pictures that we know you take of your dog. As a reminder, this is Best in Stakes for the AKC Royal Canaan National Albreed Puppy and Junior Stakes. Special event here in Orlando for young dogs between 6 and 18 months old. And we have a panel of three judges, so a little different than normal. We're joined by Ed Biven, Dennis Sprung, and Elliot Weiss, who are our three judges for this evening, Dennis Sprung is president and CEO of the American Kennel Club. Ed Biven is judging best bred by exhibitor in show at the AKC National Championship. And Elliot Weiss is judging best in show on Sunday. And these judges have already gotten a look at most of the dogs here for best in stakes. We have seen here in the ring now the Siberian Husky from the working group, the miniature Pincher is up next from the toy group. We've seen the Australian Shepherd from the herding group. Bedlington Terrier just now from the Terrier group. The French Bulldog from the non-sporting group. And the Pointer from the sporting group. The Whippet from the Hound group. And here we're looking at the winner of the toy group, the Miniature Pincher. More Min Pin for sure. And this is our final dog here in Best in Stakes. Each of our three judges is gonna get a chance to look at this dog. Miniature Pinchers are an energetic breed, very inquisitive. You can see that as each <laughs> judge comes up. I would describe the Min Pin here as inquisitive. Each 
each judge gets the opportunity to go over each dog in Best in Stakes. Now the Min Pin will get to go Best in Show. I'm sorry, the Min Pin will get to go down and back. Miniature pinchers have this characteristic hackney gate, that high stepping gate that you see there. And remember, we were watching both rings here simultaneously. So if you missed a breed or a, an entire ring that you feel like you need to see, we do have that content for you that will all be available once this is completed. And that's on akc.tv. We have all that content for you on demand. Our cameras have been rolling in both rings. Now the miniature pincher gets to go around the ring for our judges to have another look. And this is our final dog. Looks like we're going to go around one at a time. Each dog gets another chance to go around the ring. Our panel of three judges will have another look at each of them. We saw the pointer go around. Here comes the Siberian Husky. The Australian Shepherd. from the herding group. There goes the Whippet, the winner of the hound group. Really each lap here around the ring just gives the judges one final look and gives everybody here a last chance to make a great impression. There's the Bedlington Terrier, the winner of the Terrier group. And the French Bulldog from the non-sporting group. And there goes the Miniature Pincher, the winner of the toy group. Looks like the judges are discussing. Our three judges will talk about who they all agree on as the winner of Best in Stakes at the AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. Very fun and unique experience to have a panel of three judges it really is make this decision. Especially for these dogs who are so young, so new into this. They're going to have the whip it go around the ring again. And the crowd is still very invested here. We love it. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are watching this exclusively on AKC TV. And there goes the French Bulldog going around. 
the winner of the non-sporting group. Our judges are going to discuss a little more. Seems like they might have narrowed it down to between the Whippet and the French Bulldogs, since those were the two that they had another look at. We'll have to wait and see. Looks like they are definitely ready to make some decisions. Made a decision, so they'll go back and write down their winners, mark the judge's book. There's a nice look at all of the dogs left in the ring here for best in stakes. What a great, great group way to the end of the day. Great group of young dogs, puppy and juniors. Best in Stakes does get a nice cash prize as well of $1,000 <laughs> from Royal Canaan. Generous sponsors. Mr. Sprung looks like he's going to award Best in Stakes to the Whippet. The Whippet wins the second annual AKC Royal Canaan National All Breed Puppy and Junior Stakes. So excited to see this here live in Orlando, Florida. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are on AKC TV. You have been such a great crowd. We appreciate you tuning in on social media as well as online. Remember, check us out on AKC.TV for all of our content. That's on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. You have been with Marissa Sarbach and Bill Ellis here ringside. Remember, download. They're right there on your screen. We have been so happy to have you with us. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 12 o'clock for AKC TV, as well as 445 for the evening group judging. That's it for us. Have a great night.